This is the day I have been dreading for a while. And I'm not looking forward to it at all. Today, we are going to get Nala's tongue tie snip, potentially. So, I just got finished getting her dress. I got her a little milk drunk or whatnot. So, she's chilling out. And I'm bringing the whole gang. And we're about to head over to the dental office that's supposed to examine it and snip it and everything like that. So... I'm a little sad, so I decided to not put on no makeup and nothing like that. I don't think I'm going to be in the room when they actually do it, but we shall see. So I'll bring my sister and my and David as a backup for this. So it's time to put in the car seat. We're about to start running late, so let's go ahead and get to it. She's going to do well. She going to cry. Yes, yeah, she will cry. That's bad. Because I signed her up to cry. You okay. She's still asleep. Yeah. She going to wake up and be in the surgery chair. Uh-oh. Come on, focus now. It's all our fault. She don't know that her life is about to change. She looks so peaceful. Oh, my peanut. Oh, my little potato. Oh, I'm glad I felt this. Yeah, you gotta take that tag off. Listen, I was trying to be great. So, we're gonna get our life together and we will speak to you guys maybe in the car. Who knows? Let's just go. I know you don't know what's happening. Look at her, she look dead in the bed, child. Maybe we should hold her first. Oh, uh, we here, we made it, child, we made it. Let's try to do this quick and painful. We're a little early, so that's a good thing. That's the first. So, let's head inside, see what See what things looking like. Yeah, she will wait. Mm-hmm. Are you ready for life changes? That can sound like a scary movie. Are you ready? <laughs> Look at that itty bitty little potato. Hell she, wow. she wick, boy. Who they been here touching their back, dog? <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. Man, I ain't go to the middle of her back. <laughs> Bruh, it's not to the middle of her back. She barely got a back. What do her back start? Tell her I'm wicked. Uh-oh. Mm. She don't never cry. Uh-oh, she crying. She just don't like you. She's angry. Uh-oh. Mm, okay. questions that I'm going to go over with you are going to be about the baby and mm -hmm. then the second set is going to be about you. Okay. Um, so 
does she experience any of the following? Does she have a poor latch? Uh, sort of, yeah. She just slips off. Okay. Does she, feel like? does she fall asleep while attempting to nurse? Mm, sometimes. Any reflux symptoms? Like, does she spit up a lot? Not a lot. But she All right. So while nursing, do you notice any like gumming? Like she's trying to get a good a good grip. <sighs> she's definitely like chewing. Chewing. Okay. Yeah. And do you notice any popping or clicking when she is trying to nurse? I don't hear the popping. Popping and clicking? Like adjusting? Yes. Okay. Okay. Alright, so now these next set of questions are going to be about you. Do you mm -hmm. have any flattening, creased, or blanches right after nur nursing? And flattening. Flattening? Mm -hmm. Any bruises or cracked or blisters? I don't know, it's like welts, like little welts. She'll be in just, in just a moment, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. This, this is a cool little dentist room. There's a TV up there. I just realized. Uh, I was that. Where it was. There's a TV up there. It's pretty cool. Oh, she's so calm right now. Look at the way she's looking. At okay. All right. You spoke too soon. Yeah, does she need a pacifier? No, she's fine. She's just looking around. Mm-hmm. You farting? Mm-mm. She might be farting. Mm -mm. Hi, say hi. Say hi. Say hi. I'm sorry. Oh, she almost said hey. She, hey. <laughs> Is that her being gassy? Cause I haven't felt nothing yet. Constipated? I think she's just trying to stretch out and stuff. Hello, hi. to sweeten all of Yeah. Okay, well I'll take a look and see anatomically we can get her in a good place. Mm -hmm. I still recommend that you see the lactation consultant for follow-up and, and for all of that stuff, but I can tell you anatomically if there's a tongue tie at least. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah, exactly, and we're right there. Oh, I love it, that's perfect. Okay, sweet baby. Is she good? Can you watch one? So I'll tell you. Come in. You know, here you go. She's fucking it. <laughs> She's like, I, you're, I know you're fooling me. You do need that open. There we go. Good girl. So sometimes she comes off, sometimes she stays on. Mm -hmm. I can feel that. Yeah. Um, so, I will tell you that, um, and we're trying to look for the pictures, but she doesn't have what's called an anterior tongue tie, which is good. Those are also really easy to spot. You can see it. It's like a slam dunk. You know you're going to release it. It's going to be okay. She might have a little bit of what's called a posterior tongue tie, and that's why I'm trying to feel her, um, feel her latch. And I can feel it come off a little bit in the back, but posterior tongue ties, as far as results are concerned, I like to have a conversation with parents that it's a little bit, oh, thank you. That's a little bit, um, you, can, you can snuggle her. Um, our expectations seem to be a little bit different with posterior tongue ties. Should you choose to get it done again? Anterior tongue tie, I would say absolutely, let's do it. It needs to be done. Posterior tongue ties, sometimes we can do them, but you might not get a lot of relief. Now, I would say that maybe 70% of the time, my moms do get get relief and they're fine with it um but there's 30 percent of the time that that's not the issue there's something else it's the cheeks it's the shape of the palate which she has a little bit of a broad flattened palate which might not help that tongue get up all the way um so it could be a whole host of things going on in there um i am happy to do it to do the posterior tongue tie release the phrenectomy today if you want me to um but just again knowing that 
this isn't a situation where it'd be like, oh yeah, answer your tongue tie. She is so attached. We we gotta get it done. Mm -hmm. You know, she doesn't have a heart shaped tongue or anything like that. But sometimes in the back, it can just be a little bit more taut back there that it's hard for her to do. So I kind of, I kind of leave it up to you guys. Mm -hmm. If it was you, that was your baby. So my thing is, this is very easy for me. I'm in the mouth all the time. I know that it, it even though there's it's. There's going to be blood, there's going to be stuff. I know that it's not a big deal for them. This is a very easy procedure. For some parents, they don't do well with that. So for me, I can just go and laser all day long. You know, it's not a, it's not an issue for me, but some parents, you know, you have to do exercises, you have to do stretches afterwards. They don't like it. It's like physical therapy. They, you know, they cry. So I just want to make sure that you're prepared for that. But I just like having realistic expectations too. I think that's a that's a big. Part what is too. the recovery to? So the first, I'd say the first 48 hours are probably the worst. Um, I've only had two, probably in the thousands I've done. I've only had two kiddos regress, and I say regress. It was just in that first, I'd say 10 hours or so. They weren't taking taking the breast mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden you know I talked to the mom and said okay just give it give it a little bit it'll come down and then all of a sudden like 10 hours into it I probably did it at nine o'clock in the morning this was probably about 10 o'clock at night that I got the phone call and then all of a sudden dad came home and then and then the baby started feeding so I in my opinion the most discomfort is that first 12 to 24 I mean 24 to 48 hours there's some stretches that you have to do if we do the procedure to make sure that the tissue doesn't reattach because what happens is once we detach the tissue, it wants to heal back, just like this again. So you have to do some stretches, which this is the worst part. Again, remember, she's not going to remember this, but you lift up the tongue. You put your fingers in there and lift up the tongue and kind of sweep your finger underneath. It takes about a minute, and I recommend you do it before you breastfeed her. Anything Easy. in the long run, anything with speech later? No, not with posterior tongue ties. Um, and even, and I'll tell you, even with anterior tongue ties, even though people might say that, but I'll tell you, I can't tell you how many kiddos I see later on in life. They come to me the eight, nine, ten years old. I mean, 100% what's called angulo-glossa, where that tongue is just right here. I cannot stick out their tongue. They talk, you can't, wouldn't even notice. So... I say kids kind of find a way, even with the anterior tongue ties. So, so basically, with the posterior, it's basically just for my just own. Just for relief. breastfeeding, yeah. What? Just your pain level. That's yeah. the only thing. So that. really, that's what it is. Know, yeah. Do you not think that having a phenectomy or whatever is help with the slipping? So I think that again, it's possible. It, it's possible that you can have some improvement. I. I will tell you that I don't think it will hurt, but I can't promise it's gonna yeah. solve it's gonna solve everything. Okay. Well, I think we're gonna go ahead and ponder on it more. Okay. And then just That's fine. reschedule. Yes, and like I said, and if you want to come back and do it, you don't want to, you know. And again, it's a seventy percent chance that it's gonna. Yeah, because my oh, pain isn't that bad at this point. Right, right. It's, it's really with the slipping. The slip, right, and for her to gain a good yeah, yeah. And, and But when she goes on, she knows how to open her mouth. She knows how to latch yeah. or whatever, yeah. and she gets and something good. And that's something that might get better with time. Mm -hmm. And again, listen, I am happy to do the procedure. Yeah. There's no mm -hmm. skin off my back. But just try to, you know, keep y'all's best interest in mind, too. Yeah, okay. Okay? That's fair. Okay. All right, All right. Thank you so you're much. so, so welcome. You. Nice to meet y'all. Thank you. Ugh. Look at potato. She just hanging out. She likes it. Oh. <laughs> so pretty much we're back in the car and we just left the dentist's office and we're in the car talking about what we think we would want to do. My sister is saying basically no because she feels what you were saying? And that's a lot of stress on the baby for right now. And I mean, yeah. And then, David, what you're saying? I was saying no. Because I don't necessarily think it's a big necessity mm -hmm. for her to go through the pain and then us to do the therapy and all that stuff afterwards. Mm. Nah. <laughs> hmm? What do you think? I think it's pointless if it ain't helping her latch. <laughs> or it might, or it might not, and you spend all that money, so no. <sighs> I'm kind of feeling sort of and, the same. And I'm good as long as it's not gonna affect no type of side effects towards um, later in life. If she's gonna be good, she's gonna grow out of it or whatever, we're good. 
yeah that was the biggest thing i think overall with the speech and the latch is my two big things because my problem is with the latch more than anything i have gotten used to the pain itself so that's really no longer a problem but it's just a latch like i haven't really explained this but my wrist has been like killing me because i don't have to make sure she stays on properly but the way she make it sound like her latch isn't terrible and my nipple does flatten when she eats oh, but she just threw oh god okay hold on wait she just threw up oh she thought no Mm -hmm. Oh, it keep coming. It keep coming. Oh, it's still coming. Oh. We're a substitute and, and giving some formula now because um, I ran out of milk, basically. But, um, so that therapy, like David was saying, I don't really know about that because she like you heard her say she said 70 percent but she kind of had this like mm, uh, you can do without not like the anterior one i didn't know what type of tongue tie she had i just knew she had a tongue tie if i knew she had like there was specific types i probably would have researched that and we could have just dismissed this all together but um we're here now it is what it is but the chances is at this moment is it's a no for me, dog. It's a no for me, dog. <laughs> hey, <I'm straight>. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to say nothing? Your baby just threw up on me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear it. <laughs> All right, we'll see. We'll revisit the conversation, but right now we about to go into CCOs and get us a little bit of something to eat. Making this look cute. Mom, mom look basic. <laughs> How they make it? Mm. I know you would like it. All the food look good. Your chicken look good. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Time to eat, huh? We got so We have to pray. Yeah, let's pray. You know, I thank you for blinking us up this morning and this day. Thank you for this week. What's the chance of the and the mouth that you can find in your name? Amen. Amen. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Mine's eleven dollars. 